Mills is going to start this drive in the shotgun, faking it to his running back. He's got a man open downfield. It's Jefferson, and he's going to burst away from Adams, going all the way to get the score. After what was probably his best game statistically last week against the Jaguars, our rookie quarterback Mark Mills has a breakout chance. And this is actually pretty interesting because his development is still hidden and according to the scenario this will make him a superstar X Factor. And I did not know a player could break out with still having hidden development. He's starting his rookie campaign off really well I'd say. He leads the league in passing and he has every week so far. And the team is 3-1 so I guess the scenario makes sense. It just caught me off guard because of him still having the hidden dev. But this can be huge for us and his ability to upgrade quicker. He's not going to have an easy matchup this week however against the Seahawks. He's, they have some good defenders but we probably have the strongest receiving core in the league. One change to our defense that I'm making is moving Byron Murphy to the four spot starting Blackmon Booth and Christian Fulton. He just gave up too many plays last week. But now one more thing I wanted to know before the game was the Seahawks split carries with Kenneth Walker and Geno Smith. So that's probably meaning there's going to be a bunch of option plays and Noah Fant led the way in receiving for them which is concerning after how well Evan Ingram did against us. And Zach Charbonnet scored three times in this game and I like his name because it sounds like something Sanji would say right before kicking you and dipping. Only three teams remain undefeated at 4-0. No surprise at the top two but the commanders are off to a great start. Handful of 3-1 and one teams and we're at the bottom of that list. After that is a bunch of 2-2 two and two teams led by the Ravens and Saints. Then you have the bottom half of the league and everyone down there has at least one win under their belt. And here we are now at home. Mark Mills has the chance to take a giant step in his development. He'll need to throw one or fewer interceptions and have 400 total yards or four total touchdowns. He's already had a multi-interception game this year. Hopefully won't see that today. This is the first video I'm recording in 4K, so I hope it turns out well. Geno Smith will come out first to start this game. We'll get to see what he can do. He's the longtime veteran. And on first down and 10, looking right side for Noah Fant grabbing the first catch today. He had six receptions for 99 yards last week against the Jets. Now Geno looking left side. He's got Metcalf hauling this one in and moving the chains. It'll be a pickup of 12 on second down. Now Geno Smith lining up with two tight ends right. He'll keep this one and be brought down at the 46. Gain of three. And he's going to be shaken up on this play. Heading to the locker room. And that'll bring out the rookie quarterback. This is Clifton Hollenbach. Handing it off to Kenneth Walker. Only a gain of two, so he's going to have a third down and five for his first series today. He threw two passes last week for 11 yards. Completed both of them. And oh, he's hit hard. That's Tyler Lockett putting the ball on the ground. C.J. Gardner-Johnson knocking it free and giving this ball back to Mark Mills. And that's probably Gardner Johnson's biggest play since bringing him over in free agency. Now Mark Mills comes out. He'll bring Spencer Holiday in motion, another rookie. Handing this one off to Cam Akers. Not able to get nothing going on that play. Only a gain of one. He went over 100 last week. And now third down and eight. Only a gain of one on second down. Mills trying to see what he can do and make a few adjustments. Handing it, oh, faking it and getting it to Richards here on the play action. It just barely gets the first down. Got all of what he needed. Nine yards. So first down and ten. Mills looking left side for Holiday. Got him and he picks up a block from Jefferson. Able to get a few more yards. Staying in bounds. Good toe tap by Holiday. Now Holiday comes in motion to the left side. They'll give it to Akers running it right. Makes a nice cut. Went left and then cut it back right, confusing the safety. Gain of five. Second down and five. Mills got some pressure up the middle, and Richards able to get the fumble and keep possession. But that's a big sack. It's third down and 14 now. All the way back at the 32, and over the middle. Quick pass for Holiday. He jukes one man and tries to get the first down. Got almost everything he needed on that one. But it's fourth and one. And our offense will not come out. The special teams will. And they get it up and good. Greg Joseph's kick will put us up three to nothing. And Geno Smith will not come back into this game. Clifton Hollenbach will stay in. 
And on first down and 10, they got it at the 18 with a jumbo set. Holland back, looking left side for Kenneth Walker. There's no one in sight for Minnesota. And Kenneth Walker's going to take this one all the way. Lewisine tries to give chase and just not enough. And now, just like that, Kenneth Walker found some sorcery and it continues to show after the play. Got wide open on the blitz, it looked like. But now Mark Mills will get this ball back. Handing it off to Spencer Holiday on the end of round. And he'll only pick up a gain of three. Moving it to the 28. Two running backs in the backfield. It goes to Tony Wayne, the rookie running back for us that I traded for a few weeks ago. He was a player I liked a lot in the draft. And then the 49ers took him. And now here on first down, Mills had some pressure coming from the middle. Able to escape it, but a little inaccurate on the throw. Bringing up second down and 10. Now Mills looking right side for Akers. Got him on the dump off. But Jamal Adams swarms him and stops that play quickly. So third down and seven. Mills dropping back. Looking for Hawkinson. He's got the first down. Pickup of 16. And he'll move the chains now. Up to the 45. Good throw by Mills over the middle. And we might have had Spencer Holiday breaking open, but that was a good throw too. First down and 10 now. Cam Akers in the backfield. Mills looking his way. No, this is for Holiday on the drag. And he's going to juke his way back inside to gain a few extra yards. I absolutely love how quick and shifty he is. And now it's first down and 10 at the 27. Mills got a lot of time on this play. Drifting to his left. Throwing right side for Jefferson. And Jamal Adams able to snag this one out of the air. And with that interception, Mark Mills now has no room for error. If he throws another interception, his breakout scenario is over. On first down, the Seahawks got it at the 20 in the I form. They'll hand it off to Kenneth Walker. He makes a nice cut there, getting away from Blackmon and gets the first down. Hollenbach in the shotgun. He's got a lot of pressure coming up from the middle. That's Devin White. He picks up another one. He's our team's leading leader in sacks so far. Second down and 19. Kenneth Walker gets this one on a sweep and not able to get nothing going. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Only ran the ball four times for the Seahawks. And we only ran the ball five times. Not getting nothing going. Third down and 19, five wide for the rookie. And he's got a good bit of time getting out to his right. And now all the time is gone. Another rookie, Keenan Wilkins, our second round pick, finally gets to him and brings him down. Mark Mills will come back out, lining up under center. Two tight ends on the field. He'll fake this one to Cam Akers. Looking left side for Addison. One-on-one -on -one with Tariq Woolen coming across on the crosser route. He's probably their best cornerback. He'll line up on Addison again here. They're running the exact same play almost. And this time, Tariq Woolen is ready for it. The big cornerback will steal another one and end Mark Mills' breakout chance. I really thought we had him beat here on this route. It looked like Addison got away from him, but Tariq Woolen just has so much speed. He was able to get underneath it and cut it off. I thought Addison might play the ball a bit more aggressively, and I thought Mark Mills would throw it more towards the sideline. But it didn't happen, and we get intercepted. Unfortunately, lose out on getting him to X-Factor. But now rookie quarterback Hollenbach gets it, looking over the middle for Lockett, and he'll break a couple of tackles, getting a gain of eight. Hollenbach's only thrown three passes and has over 100 yards because of Kenneth Walker's big touchdown through the air. And on first down, they try to get us a jump off sides and get a penalty on themselves. So they'll back him up. Second down and seven. Handing this one off to Kenneth Walker. And Devin White will bring him down. Only a gain of one. And A.J. Can seems to be shaking up. One of their better offensive linemen. Third down and six. Looking left side and caught. Lockett will move the chains and break the tackle. And Johnson will take out his legs. First down and 10. Holland back throwing a deep ball for Metcalf and too far for him. Finally throwing an incompletion. And they could have had six on that play. 
So second down and 10, Hollenbach's gonna roll out to his left. It looks like he's gonna keep this one. Got two defenders in the area. They hit each other, gets away from White. Finally brought down by Lewis Seen. That's a big scramble. 27 yards on the ground. All the way up to the 16 now and some pressure up the middle on the next play. Brian Osamoa tag teams the quarterback and brings him down for a loss of seven. So second down and 17. The Vikings are shifting up this play a little bit on defense. And got a lot of pressure up the middle again. Back-to-back -back sacks. Devin White brings them down. Third and 25 after their fourth sack of the day. They'll hand this one off to Kenneth Walker. And get stopped two yards behind the line of scrimmage. And another injury. It's Dev, uh, Daniil Hunter this time. Our best defender on the D-line. And now the Seahawks will kick a field goal. It's up and good. They'll go up by seven. Two interceptions today. No touchdowns. But he's moved the ball a couple of different times. Let me get an update on Daniil Hunter. He'll be all right. He'll come back on the next series. Mills will hand this one off to Akers. Haven't been able to get him going much today. And we won't hear either because there's a penalty. It's going to be holding on our offense. So we'll back up 10 yards. And there's also an injury on this play. Cam Akers tears a cartilage in his knee. And I honestly don't know the severity of that in Madden. But Tony Wayne will come in. That was the reason we traded for him, and it was for that specific reason. Cam Akers has gotten hurt in the past. And now we have someone who might have a lot of potential to back him up and get the start now. So second down and four after the gain of six, or not six, but a big gain on first down. They try to get it to Hawkinson, and a defender will cause a pass interference. That's Quandre Diggs on the call. And they'll move the chains. So Mills gets it on second down and eight here. Looking underneath for Holiday on the drag route. He'll get pushed out of bounds after moving the chains. Now at the 32, getting Holiday in motion on this one, getting some good blocks, and he runs into a defender. If he kept that one out left, he might have had a lot more, maybe even six. Now it's second down and six, looking underneath for Wayne, and this will be quickly ended by Woolen. Only a short gain, so it's third down and three. They'll hand it off to Wayne. He makes a nice move and tries to push forward, but couldn't keep it going long enough and it's fourth down and one and Mark Mills and offense will stay out on the field for this play and the clock is winding they won't try to get them to jump off side looking over the middle for Jefferson he hangs on to it Adams laid a nice hit on him and he'll secure his first catch of the day now into the two minute warning looking over the middle again for Jefferson he moves the chains all the way up to the one yard line and they'll call some hurry-up offense. First and goal. They've got their power back in and the bunch right. Tony Wayne will get this handoff. And he goes up the middle and gets the score. He'll tie this game up and get his first touchdown of his career. Cam Akers is hurt and won't be coming back into this game. So we'll get to see a lot of the rookie today. And I'm excited about that, to be honest with you. I'm glad he finally got his first touchdown. And now first down and 10 for the Seahawks. He's going to have to run away from pressure. He won't get away, though. Devin White picks up his third sack up to the day. It's second down and 20. They try to run some clock, and DK Metcalf gets wide open. And Lewis C. misses the tackle. Booth giving chase, and he will miss, too. So with only 30 seconds remaining in this half, the Seahawks will go up by seven yet again. And now Byron Murphy will come back into this game. He was benched before the start of it. We'll see if he can come in and make a difference. Mills is going to start this drive in the shotgun, faking it to his running back. He's got a man open downfield. It's Jefferson, and he's going to burst away from Adams, going all the way to get the score. With just 20 seconds before halftime, it took them only 10 to tie this one back up. Vikings will not go down without a fight. They answer in just one big play so even with two turnovers in the first half we're all tied up going into halftime not able to get much going on the ground for both teams so almost 50 yards for both of us but we want to see that change in the second half 
Got an update in a division game. The Bears are currently winning over the Lions going into halftime. Jared Goff has a score. Only down by one point, though. And now Green Bay and the Saints. Their game's over. Green Bay advances to 3-2, topping the Saints by three. But now we get back into our game. The Vikings start with the ball. They'll hand it off to Tony Wayne to start this drive, and he keeps those legs churning through the contact. Like seeing that from him. And now Mills will line up under center with two tight ends right. He's going to look for Hawkinson and overthrows him. He had him open on that one. 14 of 18 so far. Two passes have been intercepted. And now it's third down and four. Quickly on this drive. He'll get it to Hawkinson this time. Completed. And moving the chains. Adams tried to knock it free. But Hawkinson is our tank on offense. First down and 10. Looking over the middle for Holiday. Juking and bobbing and weaving his way to the first down. Looking like a human joystick out there, I swear. Six catches for 82 yards in this one. They'll hand this one off to Richards now. His first carry of the day will be a good one. Getting a gain of nine. Almost got the first down. Making this third down manageable. They'll hand it off to him again on this one. He bounces into his own line, but able to get two. We'll likely see a good bit more of him today as well with the injury to Cam Akers. And now third down and 10. Mills has got a bunch on the right. Trying to make a few adjustments to get this play to work. And he's got a man open. It's Holiday on the crosser. And he's going to get all the way into the red zone inside the 10. Getting this one out of bounds. Not wanting to take a hit from Adams. Smart move, to be honest. And a good throw by Mills. Give him some time, and he will make good throws. He's done good today outside his first interception, I'd say. That second one, maybe it was on me, not leading it out. But we got a chance to score here on first down and goal. Mills over the middle and knocked away from Hawkinson. But like the defender got a hand on it. And now second and goal, the lineup in the eye form. Handing it off to Wayne, and he's going to churn forward, trying to keep those legs going into the end zone. But he'll be stopped at the two. Staying in the eye form this time. Quick pass and broken up. Looking for Jefferson. Duchenna Nwosu knocked it away, I believe. That is how you pronounce his name. If I'm not, feel free to correct me in the comments, please. First and 10 now for the rookie. Clifton Hollenbeck, he has looked so good today, and he is only a 60 overall. And now he's got it on the right side for Metcalf, and we get another injury in this game. Lots of them today. That'll be Marcus Davenport. Second down and five. Handing it off to Walker, and he's going to run into a wall. Maybe his own lineman as well. And he only gains one yard. So it's third down and four over the middle. Quick pass is completed. They hit the tight end and move the chains. So it's first down and 10. Five minutes to go here in the third quarter. They'll hand it off to Walker. Not getting nothing going there either. Daniil Hunter slams him down and brings up second down. So now, looking over the middle, he got Jackson Smith Ninjiba his first catch today, actually. And it's going to be a third down. Trying to stop this screenplay. They will. Keenan Wilkins all over it. Forces his second incompletion today. And the Vikings got the ball back. They were not able to do anything with it. So now they'll hand it off to Kenneth Walker. The Seahawks have possession again. It's first down and 10 after that gain on first down. Running the option here. And... Clifton will run right into Daniil Hunter. Gets swallowed up in the backfield. Loss of two. Now it's second down and 12. Faking the handoff. Looking left side for Metcalf. He gets it, stays in bounds for a second and quickly goes out after. So it's third down and five. Vikings send heat over the middle and it's caught for Fant. He'll move the chains. Only his second catch today. And Kenneth Walker had to make a decision there. He gets away from him. One of the defenders, but Davenport brings him down. Looks like he's fine and back in the game. Only a gain of one. So it's second down and nine. And on this play, Devin White swallows Hollenbach off. Loss of four. 
Third down and 13. Holland Box going to try to scramble out to his left. So Keenan Wilkins gives chase and brings him down. His second sack today. The Vikings have six, and Seahawks have one so far. Vikings get the ball back to their offense. They start at the six-yard line in the eye form. They got the fullback out there, trying not to give up a safety. They'll hand it off to Wayne, following his lead blocker. He breaks the tackle of Adams and gets a gain of nine, pushed out of bounds, giving us some breathing room. Nothing on second down, however. So it's third down to one. We give it to Wayne, and he plows forward. Getting it through Sammy Kaplan, the rookie. Someone I had interest in. So first down and 10 from the 17. Another handoff for Wayne, and he'll get a gain of six. The Vikings are up by three, so we are in a bit of that chew clock mode. But it's third down and four now. Looking over the middle for Hawkinson. He got wide open on the drag route. And he'll stay in bounds. Good job to keep that clock going. So at the 39 now, three receivers left. They hand it off to Richards. He'll run it that way and be brought down quickly after a gain of four. Devin Bush on the tackle. Now it's third down and six. The Vikings are running their very favorite play. And Jefferson gets open on it as he always does. But Mark Mills misses him on third down, so we got to punt it away. Up by three with six minutes and a half to go in this game. They get it over the middle to Metcalf, and ooh, that was a close one. Able to bring him down, but he almost had a big one. Gets the first down still, though. And now the Vikings will show pressure. Holland back stands tall through it, though. Doesn't get phased and gets it out in the swing route to Kenneth Walker. Only a gain of one. Now it's 28. Kenneth Walker plows through Jonathan Abram, then fumbles it. And Minnesota can't get on it. Seahawks maintain possession. So it's third down and eight now for the Seahawks. Vikings looking to get a stop here. Holland Bach rolling out to his right. He gets it to Kenneth Walker. Gets past Byron Murphy. Breaks a tackle. Stiff arms someone. And they have to take out his legs to finally bring him down. So they move the chains, first down and 10, trying to get into field goal range, and Barmore will get a sack, pushes them back four yards, and now they'll head into the two minute warning with the second down and 14. At the 48, Hollenbach's gonna roll out to his right and keep this one. He pushes Byron Murphy to the ground like it's nothing. And Devin White will finish him off. Now it's third and eight. Vikings need to get a stop here. Clifton will roll out to his left and scramble again. Brian Osamoa brings him down. And Devin White will get shaken up. This is bad news. He's been our best defender all season. Seahawks send out the special teams and the kick is up and good. So we are all tied up again at 20 to 20. And the rookie quarterback, Mark Mills, will get another shot to get a fourth quarter win. Doesn't like this play. He's going to look to change it, but eventually decides he's going to stick with it. And now dropping back, taking a shot for Addison on the crosser. And this time it'll be completed. Woolen won't be able to intercept that one. First down and 10, faking it to Wayne, getting it to Oliver on the drag or the underneath route. Getting a gain of nine. Getting out of bounds as well, holding on to those two timeouts. So now two tight ends right. They bring Holiday in motion. It's a jet sweep, and he makes a nice cut back inside, getting behind his blocker, breaking free, using all 98 of that speed. And now we are in field goal range. The Seahawks will use a timeout, and the blocking on this play was perfect. Holiday was able to get back inside. Man, I love to get that ball in his hands in any way possible. And now, first down and 10 from the 18. We line up in the eye for him. We'll hand it off to Wayne. He's got a lot of green in front of him, one-on-one -on -one with the safety. And he'll get brought down after a gain of nine. And the Seahawks will use their last timeout. Good knee. The Seahawks are hoping for a turnover here, but they let up the first down. And Tony Wayne goes down at the two-yard line. So out will come the special teams for the Vikings. But zero's on the clock. Greg Joseph's kick is up and good. 
Vikings win 23 to 20 and improve to four and one. And after throwing two interceptions, Mark Mills was able to get things going, turn it around in that second half. And without Cam Akers, I thought our run game looked pretty well. Not too bad. Our defense allowed a 60 overall quarterback to have a perfect quarterback rating on us. Tony Wayne, 57 yards on the ground, one score. And we let up 41 to Clifton Hollenbach and Kenneth Walker did well when he did carry the ball. He did better receiving. Went over 100 yards. Holiday went over 150, and Metcalf had 122. Jefferson almost had 100. He had 96, and Jordan Addison had two for 44. We held Noah Fanton check. I thought he did pretty well in that facet. And on defense, Devin White, of course, shined five TFLs, three sacks, and Keenan Wilkins, the rookie, had two sacks as well. Christian Barmore picked up one, and a half sack for Awesome Boa and Hunter. And no interceptions for our defense today. We threw two, though. And on defense, Devin White did win NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I don't have much else to go over for the end of this video. In the next video, we'll do some draft updates. I've got some prospects I want to show you guys. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to see more. Peace.